Peace, peace, peace. It's your boy Juice Wanna, and this is politics as usual, old York Gray. You know, so we in the building once again. I wanted to take you back into the Vatican's dirty little secret, you know, about Julius Caesar being Jesus Christ. And so I'm going to stand here once again and present the evidence. Now, it's on you to accept or deny it. I'm not here to um to impose on anybody any information. I'm just here to give the information. You know, and since I did a show yesterday uh, kind of late, I didn't start this one on time. But you'll still get the information nonetheless. You know, forgive me over here doing a little breakdown of the essences of herbalness. If you understand, you understand. All right. So on this, I really wanted to talk to y'all about the bright morning star. Right, so we're going to get into how you make a God, right? I already explained it to you through George Washington. I gave you the format, you know, even down to the cornerstone of being the state of Georgia and, you know, the, I mean, um, Washington, my fault. Um, the cornerstone being Washington, you know, of the United States. So these symbolisms is already set in place. Now, whether you accept the symbolism on a um on an acknowledgement, like not outside of the subconscious, that's on you. Like I cannot give you an information and make you want to accept it like that's not something i can do nor do i have the desire to do <laughs> i don't have that desire i don't have the desire to impose something on you so if this is not information that you want you ain't even got to stand there and be mad of the information because you can simply go <laughs> You know what I mean? Let me just get this right right here. And we're going to get into this. On this part, we're going to get into the bright morning star and some other information. But we're going to take it back to this article again in Wikipedia about the Temple of Caesar. All right? The Temple of the Lulus. Now you got these different names, but basically it's the structure, the symbolization, the meaning of these things. And so you wouldn't know when acknowledge it. That's on you. But they're acknowledging the contributions of said person, whoever that person may be, and their contribution to the overall. Even if they don't know, but trust me, any of the big dogs, they know. You know, like like me knowing but not being a big, big dog. See, I know, but like I told you, you would doubt me because I didn't utilize this information. But I'm not a dirtbag. I didn't want... To participate in anything of an underhanded system, especially not if I knew. Now, if I didn't know, and and um, you know, I imposed certain things that was on me, like saying build, hey, let's build. You know, those little things, those little things. Yeah, I could say I contributed to. You know what I mean? But outside of that, I stayed very diligent on staying away from 
that lifestyle, even though in our system of of society, the black people in it is very is like virtually impossible to not be indoctrinated into that system. It's like like I'm a rarity. You know, because I utilized that system, but I was not a part of it. Meaning I, I, I was never initiated into any of these organizations, never took an oath, never took a pledge. I was already in the lifestyle. So when it came to that information, it was like, um... Um, what do you say? Um, ghost face and the God left the message on my, on my dresser type of a thing. Like, you, like I was given the information, you know, and without having an enlightener was able through the company of them understand how it worked. You know what I mean? So even if I didn't know the full dynamics of something, I was still aware enough to know that when certain things were happening or said that that I should be aware. Because it might be harmful to me. They might be holding a conversation or whatever about me. And so I was always alert, like I told you, to have the ear to things, you know. And I could, I could, I could give you examples of that. But let me um roll this up and let's get into this right here. As you know, I don't do Dutch masters. <laughs> Ain't no way, me and my master. You know what I mean? In no way, shape, or form. So. Knowing that the Dutch were one of the three major expeditors of slaves, it would be virtually impossible and foolish for me to smoke a Dutch master. Not when I know that, you know, the Norwegians and all of them people, because those are the Dutch, you know what I mean? Um, knowing, you know, that they even celebrate holidays in blackface. So, yeah, um, no Dutch masters for me, but I do smoke blunt vills. They out of Nigeria, if I'm correct. All right, um, let me see here. Um, all right, deserve. Though they, they, it's coming through Bristol, Pennsylvania, but it's made in Nicaragua. Okay, so it's Nicaragua. Either way, I'm going to support it, you know, the Black River. Nica is black. And, you know, that's where a lot of people, you know, didn't understand, you know, the ignorance of the white man when he's saying nigga in this you know, negra or neca, you know, just meaning black. That's why they called you Negro and all of that. So when you hear this social construct and all of that, man, tell them people go kick rocks, man. You 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 constructing me right now. <laughs> you you redesigning me right now by getting me to stop saying black and part of me here. Um my fault. You know, by getting me to say black and, I mean, saying melanated and all of that is the construct. Once you got people start saying that, you proving that you got them. Because it's a group, you know, who put that out there outside of a certain group and they hide themselves. You know, so you got to be a very brave person 
to step up to a system where, you know, you got to trust you know that system or you could be, you know, around your enemy. Well, you always around them, but you won't know. You know, so it takes a brave person to go do this research and then be able to um, bring it to the light and expose it. Me breaking down Julius Caesar being Jesus, that's the very small part of it. How they pulled it off is what I'm telling you. You know, I just couldn't tell you how they pulled it off if I didn't have information of something that they pulled off as a reference to, yeah, this is real. And, you know, you are in it as well. You might not know that it's happening now. They tell you history repeats itself every 2,500 years or whatever the case may be. Well, here you go. Right. Okay. Listen, kids, listen to your mommies. Don't follow these dopes. <laughs> Slick Rick. You know what I mean? We have five minutes before the break. So, let's get into it. All right? How do we install the bright morning star? Or, let's go into the temple of the comet star. An ancient structure in Rome, in the Rome Forum of Rome, Italy, located near the Regia in the Temple of Vesta. Understand that everything that you see or heard or hear within that story is in reference to these things and times. So it's simply a history book of paying homage to somebody that they considered great or people in this matter, you know, You know, in this matter. It's like they fucking with me or something. All right? So, you have these, um, this installation now where. You know, as best. see, you got to always keep in mind, we're in a different time of information, discovery. So the way you controlled somebody then is different now. Now you control the imagery. So you could have opened the door to certain things and relinquish that information of control like the seers and all of them you know to relinquish that because you have a system that dictates and and brings all of that and they control that system so it doesn't matter to them so but if you destroy the system then the old system has to go back. So if you send everybody to the dark again, 
the old way will rule because the Sears and all of them are already set up in place. We'll get into that, right? We'll get into that. To how this all works, because this is a scheme. This is chicanery, right? Let me bring up chicanery again. You know, I love to bring up chicanery. <laughs> hey, oh, matter of fact, hold on, go ahead. Yeah. Right. Take me away. Chicanery. The use of trickery to achieve a political, financial, or legal purpose. And in reality, it's to control all three, but each individual might only need it for a certain reason, you know what I mean? So, but the whole system is set up and intertwined. So there's no way to work within the system and think that you are working out of it. Meaning that, yeah, you thinking that you utilizing certain things, but if it's not, in tune with the grand lodge, should I say, the, the hub of putting out the information, then you wouldn't understand. You know, you wouldn't understand. Now, mind you, a system that's set up is also, while it's taking down, while it's removing one system, through the revelation of, whoa, what they did, a new system is set up. Me, I'm not just addressing an old system. I'm always speaking of a new system that's set up as well. So I'm, I'm never going to be one of them people to just put you on a one-way path. It wouldn't serve you no purpose learning how they did it in the past and thinking that you're still under that system. It just told you a new world order. So it's a whole, it's the same system, the same operation. It's just that it's new triggers and stuff of that nature. You know, because now it's under the the feminist rainbow alphabet committee. They own the system now. Right? They the ones who own it now. So this system that you under now, that's the reason why, you know, there's such a push because, you know, the takeover. It was the takeover. But anyway, let's get into the temple again. The temple of Caesar. But in this case, um, temple of the comet star. All right. So we're going to go over here to the temple of the comet Caesar's. Or a.k.a. Caesar's comet. Right now, we know. Hold on, let me um bring this up for you. You know how I do it, shit. All right. Bright and morning star. All right. Bright and morning star. Is the bright and morning star Jesus 
or Lucifer, right? The reason why they asking, right? What is the bright star in the morning sky, right? So we understand that, you know, we're in the sky, right? We go, um, the bright morning star, reason for hope, right? Verses, let me put ver um, King James Version, right? So we got, here we go. Revelations 22, 6 through, tw I mean, 16 through 21. King James Version. I, Jesus, have sent mine angel to testify unto thee things in the church. I am the root and offspring of David and the bright and morning star. All right? So you got to understand first, it's constantly in the Bible, word play. The Bible is nothing but word play. A constant regurgitation of stories, rewritten and redesigned for that time. Just like when you're watching TV now, <laughs> you'd be like, yo, that's the same basic, you know, storyline. Most people don't pay attention because they're paying attention more to the actors, you know, idol worship. So they don't know the the steps and all of that into programming somebody. Because those shows and series are steps that are, are constantly recycled within the brain and passed down from generations to generations. So whether you was watching, I don't know, Chips or some shit like that, or you watching Chicago PD, it's still the same structure. The steps is what's gonna keep you in that mindset. So even if they change, you know, the morals of the people, because that's what's really controlling them. And then you put it in situations of most recognition. So when right now, the turmoil in the U.S. is coming out of Chicago. You know? It's coming out of Chicago. I had to get a whole. I remember I keep telling y'all I keep losing, you know, my lighters. So I wind up, you know, getting a um, one of my mason jars and um, just like throwing them in there now. So as you can see right here, I got a whole jar. These are all her working lighters that's been, you know, disappearing and whatnot so i had to just like constantly run some down i got some more that i gotta go find because i know like for like two months every week mind you i wasn't running through them you know what i mean i, I only smoke for the x amount of weed so it's virtually impossible for me to run through three lighters a week <laughs> so you do the math and do that you know, for like three months and shit. So you got like, you know, three times four. What is that? Um, Twelve. Then you take the that times three and you got um thirty six. Right. If I'm correct. All right. So you got thirty six lighters that's supposed to be running around here. <laughs> right. So like I said, through me, you know, through these stories, you're going to get the whole structure of Freemasonry and how it works. So I don't like just talking to something. I realize that 
there's you waste more time trying to explain what other people in mass like you can go look on on the internet you know um youtube and you'll notice that a million people will regurgitate literally the same thing oh yeah i was in it i made it to a 33 it's a bad system and yada 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 but they never tell you how it worked they never tell you what they did so they're actually working you right there Then they're working you right there. Me, I'm telling you a system that because of my characteristics, my personality, my approach to things, this aggressive stance, right? They thought they could indoctrinate me for the purpose of using me as a tool, which most likely would have me not here today. Because they would underestimate your intellect. They hoping that their book smarts, the things that they present, oh, you should know this, yo, this history, and give you all of that. They hoping that you so distracted with that that you don't see the hustle you don't see the indoctrination through all of these others because you so engulfed within the circle that you've been indoctrinated in so if you blood you don't see the the tactics working on the crips or the gangster disciples or vice lords or whatever. All you know is whatever you're in. And you're not supposed to know anything else. Oh, you're a sucker. You fucking with that side. So everything is designed for you to never find out. The, yo, we don't. You know, we don't fight fair or better yet, the ill one is, is we'll, we'll, if you wrong, we'll get to that when we get back. But we, we don't handle outside business out in the streets. You get him back after an arguing with somebody after guns have been bust. What does that matter? Dude just coming through. You already said you don't do fair ones. You bust your guns. Nobody is seeing any um scolding or anything or responsibility of yo on your side. So they gonna ride because remember, you don't handle that the business out on the street. All of these women, you know, terminologies. Wow, they put all your business out in the street. Trick knowledge. You know, see this comment. See this lunius, lunium. And remember, when we when we go back, we're gonna see it again. But Julian Starr, Cesius, Cesius, Ottimus, Star of Caesar, Comet Caesar, the Great Comet of forty four B C. I told you, as above, as below.
So once you place this into the people's minds, like Haley's Comet or whatever, depending if they already had a name for that one, but if they put in the name on this comet, you best believe these are the signs and symbols. Like they told you, oh, the red moon happened, the blood moon, and they stressing these things. Trust and believe there's a system being set up under that. So you got to stay diligent. I'm going to give you some, some information. Don't think that I'm going to just leave you with this. But you got to have your mind thinking. Pardon me. I'm not even seen. I thought I was being seen. Um, you got to have your mind in it. That means that I would never feel comfortable with somebody regurgitating what I said, because I don't regurgitate nobody. I'm the type of person to hear a saying and think of a way to where common man has misused it, so I'm going to combat it. Like common sense. I tell people all the time I don't have common sense. I'm not the common man. The common man is controlled, so that common sense is just on how to move in society. But they use that and intertwine it with your thinking. Everybody knows that. Yo, right? Everybody knows. That's common. And in that common sense, aren't all of those people wrong then? If they commonly believe in something if the common consensus is this, but that common consensus is controlled. That narrative is controlled. So don't think walking away in the destruction of Christianity is, is anything different than... Any uh, destruction, that's why I told you, look at the Eternals, and you'll see it in there, the conversation of the gods, and that's why I said as a black person, once again, they set the imagery of disrespect of the black man. He has been set in the eunuch form, castrated. First, you big them up with um, the mandingo, the toughness, this, that, and the third. And then you see the, what's that, the sharp contrast where it was just switched up. Totally different. You take dudes like Little Nas X and you take all of those names of all of these imagery of these people and you switch them into this. So you take something, you build it, these letters, these names, and then you switch it. So the mind works through association. What it associates with what? Me, if it doesn't connect by what you say and I can't associate it with anything, and that's what gives me the clue that you're full of shit. And that's how I go out and I find the information just based on the common man. When the common man tells me something that's this universal, that's when your first sign is supposed to say, wait a minute, something is wrong. When you see the clown, yo, yo, son, yo, yo, he said. That's the control factor of that person really don't know nothing. And they're hoping you don't either. And what they really hoping is, is majority of the people 
know the common information. It's like saying, oh, um, AIDS came from monkeys. They was in Africa, dude was sleeping, like that. That type of consensus was put out. And whether we combat it or not, you know that that now, oh, no, it ain't that. We know, right? But this at that time, the AIDS and all of that, this was what was put out. This was the message. And now, look, you see our community large in that sector. Well, put it like this, when imagery of us is. Now, whether or not you know that's what the streets are, the, um, the imagery of the people is that. Now, you'll know if it's a reality by birth rates. When you see the black birth rates declining, then you have this full understanding of cattle. Remember, we I, I was discussing, you know, um, slave and, and the concept of the cattle and how you control it. Remember the the slave collar with the Masonic symbol, cattle, and so how do you control cattle? See, me, they mad. Be like, wow, this dude right here, he, he, he don't go for that shit. You know? I don't go for it. And the battle really is within the people to educate the people. Because they so caught up in it, they'll fight you to not get that information while assuming they know some information. And so it's a battle for somebody to rob your grave, should they say. You know, like your mind. Like they arguing it out of you so they don't have to say they got it from you. And so people like that will also stop and go, okay, so tell me. Oh, well, then I said, well, why you keep stopping me if you already know? And why are we have and then from then you you cut them short of oh, no, I'm good. There's no reason to continue this conversation and you leave them frozen. You know. I do it all the time on 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 on, on Facebook and shit. Leave motherfuckers right there. Motherfuckers turn around, block me, didn't want to un You know, like the type of people that uh, um block you and then, then unblock you so they could be around and and get the information. <laughs> you know the type. You know what I mean? The, that's why I don't care. I never if 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 I block you on my page, which I only did to two people. That I know, if, if I'm correct, only two. It could be three. I, you know what I'm saying? It could be three. But I know as one dude, like, like he was giving me a hard time. He hate my guts. <laughs> you know what I mean? But when he started, you know, like basically, <coughs> basically involving white people in the conversation to open the door for them to um you know like complain to facebook or something because i don't have white people on my page there's not one white person if i find out you white if you know like some people might try to come through if i find out you out of there you know what i mean i'll let some people follow me but i block my page so you can follow you know what i mean but outside of that I don't, um, I don't, like, I'll know. 
That's how you know you weed out. You know, a lot of the, not to be funny, but a lot of the jabs on the conscious community come from me. Real talk. I've been, I've been, I've been like getting at the conscious community the way they get at, you know, the Bible thumpers. I call them the Bible bashers. I said, need you, you know about as much of the Bible as the people that you trying to argue with. You got half information. Because if you put it out, oh, um, where is Jesus' tomb? And you don't know how to locate Jesus' tomb. Then you ain't woke either. Let's be honest. All you was given was a half truth yourself. So you can just cause, you know, an argument, the chicanery. So you are a tool. If you don't understand the arguing of God or Jesus on both sides, and that's on both sides. If neither one of them, and I be listening, you know what I mean? So I know, like, I, you don't get it. See, me, I wasn't raised in any religion whatsoever. Literally none. Like, it was never a conversation inside my house one time. I... You know, I seen my father had, uh, you know, he got mad at me for this. <laughs> he actually went to kill me for this shit. Um, he had a Bible, right? But he, you know, like my family is West Indian. <laughs> so I'm keeping G. You know, he had the um, the coins on there and all of that stuff and um, on the Bible and shit. And, you know, I, I, I had snuck in there as a kid and you know, took, took the money. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like he wanted to, you know, break me down and shit. But like I said, at that time, I didn't even know it was the Bible. I just see, you know, a book. <laughs> so I never was even like, I didn't literally know that stuff. None. Like, my grandmother didn't t talk about religion. Like, if she mentioned Jesus, <laughs> it was like in the um, it's like in the way of a of of a person saying this motherfucker right here, like Jesus, Lord Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Like, it wasn't like really, you know, calling on somebody. I never saw it like that. I never seen my grandmother pray or call me to pray and none of that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I never took the words from her to mean in a religious form. So when I was young, you know, it didn't bother me to question people because I seen the common man interested in that. Like, I learned the Bible because the common man was interested in it. And I was always odd, awkward. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, out, out of place. Told you, everybody else had religion. I didn't. I was all, amongst the same people, all of the rest of the world. The only person who entered my house and spoke religion was my aunt. <laughs> That's it. So... I didn't know um, any of that. So all of the common things, like, I'm learning. I'm just sitting there, you know, trying to figure it out. Like, why people do, you know what I mean? So at nine, I'm sitting on, you know, the bench in the projects, just looking at life go by. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, but not looking, but, like, studying it. Like listening to the odd conversations as people walk by within that little, you know, five, ten seconds or minute that they walk by, whatever the case may be. 
and analyzing the stuff that I was hearing because I don't know. I just didn't understand them. <laughs> and now I understand why. I wasn't programmed. I was a runaway slave. They made sure to just keep none of that in, you know, the vicinity. It was an important. You know, I told you, my family comes from a lot of this this story. You know, the French side and all of that. You know, the whole Cuban um, experience. You know, my grandmother's last name is Blanchett. That's you know, French for white. <laughs> That's why, you know, the Haitian, you know, and all of that. But this history is researched through those implements. Here, this is what you should know. Fuck all of the rest of that. This is what you need to know. And so me having a different information, you know, like I'm, I'm always was looking oddly. You know what I mean? Like, damn, what's, you know what I mean? So then when I um came into that understanding, I came into it through the ruffian. You know, the behind the scenes. Because it was perceived that I was that tight, you know, but not knowing that I literally didn't know the religious aspect, so you couldn't have indoctrinated me. Even that side couldn't indoctrinate me because I didn't know the other side which you would use to pull your members in. You're pulling them in by this enlightenment of the Bible. I wasn't raised in it. So pulling me in, you just giving me the, the blueprint. I just took the blueprint back like, oh shit. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Because you... I couldn't have been indoctrinated because I didn't know any of that information. So you couldn't pull a switch on me. I wasn't indoctrinated in the first place. Even the times that like, okay, for me, like, because when I ran into, like, religion or anything, it was, like, up in, like, Dobbs Ferry. Like, that's, like, like, like kind of like the suburbs. You know what I mean? Well, it's the suburbs. It's the suburbs of New York, you know, of the city of New York. It's, like, um, Westchester County. I used to live in Westchester County, you know. So looking at at it through your indoctrination of Christianity me was coming through white people. Like, okay, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then when I went into the hood, I'm I'm like, you know, that looked like a spectacle because I just came from over there and they dry as fuck with this shit. <laughs> You know what I mean? It's like a sense of superiority over there. While on the other side, it's that's this greatness, this this show. <laughs> you know what I mean? This 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 um what do you call it? Like a bard bird? What I, like you know like the traveling circus and shit. <laughs> you know, like one of the the traveling acts and shit. I mean, that's how um, vaudeville or whatever, you know. Anyway, you know, that's how how um, me just giving you this understanding as how 
I couldn't be indoctrinated. The new can be indoctrinated because it's all based off of the other information. God is, now God is a woman. The connection is what? God. Spirituality, the spirit of Jesus came down, Jesus, the spirit of God came down like a dove. Spirit, connections. So as you get an indoctrinated into a new system, it's based on that old system by attacking it, by attacking that system and shifting you over to the next system. So is when you start hearing people say certain things, understand as you start hearing it accumulate more, you know that that has taken over. It's like hearing a song you don't like. Then everybody you know didn't like the song, but then two days later, everybody you know fucking singing this shit. Programming. So if you watch and study good enough and listen, you would know who the program is off. And you would go, oh, 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 so y'all moving over to a new system. Now you got the 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 profiteers, you know, trying to get in. And then you got people who like, nah, nah, we need to break this chain. If you really saying that you free and the people, oh no, nah, I'm giving them the information. Where yeah, but what about the the new bullshit you giving them? Look at all of these organizations and put all of their information on the table and then say oh wait a minute this is the universal teachings this is the theme the world is your stage what is the theme of the show What is the theme of society right now? And then you could find all of the new players. You understand the takeover. Got like five minutes. Let's get into this um, Caesar's comment real quick. Okay, um, great comet of 44, numeral designation, okay, so it says comets have been observed for over 2,000 years. During that time, several different systems have been used to assign names to each comet, and as a result, and as a result, Many comets have more than one name. So we have this understanding. So the comet could have a totally different name. So to look up, you know, this comet, you know, you could just simply, you know, look it up. You do that another time. Right now I'm just giving you Matter of fact, I'm not doing it because I want you to. I want you to understand <laughs> some things. Like, this is not a game. This is how they rocked you. This is how you got to where you at right now. Right? Was a seven-day commentary outburst. A great comet is a comet that becomes exceptionally bright. There is no official definition. Often the term is attached to comets such as, I said it, Halley's Comet, which during certain appearances are bright enough to be noticed by casual observers once 
who are not looking for them and become well known out, you know. So this was a comment the that came out around that time. And so the Sears, you know, the people like that, you know, they deemed this as an omen. That's why when we go into Julius Caesar and the people that, you know, big them up and you see all of these little small sections and understand how the Vatican and all of this was being set up. It was it was formulating and the and it was building its well, it was already the pockets. Like I said, like going into Liberia and setting up the pockets before you you take over. That's the tactic. Now I'm gonna get into that whole thing one you know, that's that's tactic right there is actually the illest, and that's like where uh, the a giant beef is all over right now. So, understand that tactic. Right? Jean in July 44 BC. It was interpreted by Romans as a sign of of the disinfection of recent assassination dictator Julius Caesar, B.C., and was perhaps the most famous comet of antiquity. Pardon me, I'm trying to smoke here. Okay, so now you understand. The people, the religious understanding you know of that time you here go a man whose birthday is in july a comic comes he's assassinated all of these things about somebody who was considered great understand what's being said what you are seeing and hearing so we already remember we said about haley's comment so keep in mind this stuff All right where we at based on two sketchy reports from china may 30 and rome july 23rd an infinity number of Orbit determinations, right? Okay, what is this? Is an estimated the orbit of objects such as moons, planets, space. Okay, okay, so it's just okay. <laughs> in the building we in the building all right so where we at here okay oh orbit and determination can be fit to can fit the observations but a retrograde orbit all right and he actually give you a little pill oh, my fault let me bring this up. All right, and so on this one, they actually give you a moving diagram. Intrograde motion in astronomy is generally orbital rotation motion of the object in the direction opposite the rotation of the primary, you know, that is, okay? So that's just basically, you know, what this means. I like to, you know, retrograde orbit. That bad is if you 
remember we talking about above as below. So to understand the stars is one of the major parts. I put a video on it. Like I said, the book is coming out where, you know, I'm talking about Job and the stone. Because like, a lot of people don't know that Job is actually the oldest book in the Bible. It's not Genesis. So to understand that Job is the oldest book, it's where did that come from? Where did that book come from? And so it's taking you on this journey of that. Right? And it's getting you right here. This is all connected. All of that is connected to this. But this is like basically the chapter breakdowns, like getting into each chapter and breaking down the concept. So really I'm sitting here doing this, <laughs> you know, to give the, the hood breakdown, to give it that chisel, to give it to everybody understanding in a more um, smoother delivery without the, the gritty. <laughs> Um, where we at? Determination can fit out. Uh, is inferred based on available notes. The comet approached Earth both inbound on in mid May and outbound in early August. It came to um, what is this? Okay, parents is the further or nearest point in the orbit of the planetary body about the primary body, okay? Closely approached to the sun on May 25th at negative 40 degrees at the solar distance of about 0.2 um, AU. Right, astrological unit is a unit of length roughly the distance from the earth to the sun and equal to about 500 million kilometers or negative eight lengths um, minutes. The actual distance from earth to the sun versus about by about 3% as Earth orbits the sun from a maximum, you know, to a minimum. Let me see here. Pin the comet where we are. Um, solar, 11 degrees. Hypothesized to have had an apparent magnitude of around. As the Chinese report is not consistent at daytime visibility during May between June 10th and June 20th. And the comet would have dimmed from magnitude plus one to around a magnitude of plus five around July 20th, you know, negative 40. Um, the comet underwent an estimate nine magnitudes outburst as a parent's magnitude and had a <laughs> if you went like I don't want to be bombarding you you know what I mean with information that it just sounds um frivolous so let me try to give you an understanding right the sky has always been observed through people, right? Because the sky basically dictated your life. That's why when they saw comets and stuff like that, these were considered, you know, omens, mainly bad. You know, it could be some good events, but comets were mainly viewed as a bad thing, as far as I know, right? So... Now that we understand that people observe in the sky and there's a time of record keeping, right? So now China was watching the sky 
they got records. They not keeping these records trying to combat anything that the Romans or the Greeks are saying. They just saying, hey, we watching the sky at this time. The brightness and the distance from the earth and this information would say that they saw the comet brightness at a different period. So they're trying to say, like, how was it possible that, so they, somebody is saying that the numbers have shifted or when they saw it to make it fit this situation, the hustle. Once again, the hustle, you know, he who, um, to the victor, you know, goes to spoils or what it says, um, history is written by the victor. So I, I could say whatever I want, as long as the people uh, are basically around the same gist of the un understanding. They were, they were like, wow, it was an omen. But do we shift it just to make it <laughs> at this time? They didn't know somebody else had records to go eat you full of shit. <laughs> That's what I was just basically reading. I didn't want you to just think I was, you know, giving off these dates and crazy numbers. It's, if you understand the sky, you look up, you know, your main point of looking up if you're Zenith. So that's where you start when you want to locate. Then you got like Ra, you know, like the rise and ascent, you know, in geometry. So that's going to tell you where to turn and, you know, how, how to look up. Matter of fact, when you, when you look at snowfall, that's what he's in, he was doing. Remember when the guy said the comet? No, he was, he was talking about the comet. Then he turned around and he was like, um, damn, he didn't know where he was at. And then look at, um, what's his name? Um, Franklin. Look at him. Study what he's doing. And then he turns around. Oh, that's in the south or whatever year or at this understand that let me just leave that there and you know you figure that out yourself so the comet underwent an estimated nine magnitude outburst in apparent apparent magnitude and had a solar elongment of 88 degrees in the morning sky at magnitude negative four, it would have been as impressive as Venus. So, the bright morning star is also, right, what like Venus. Is Venus the bright morning star? Let's see. Is Venus the bright morning star? Okay, according, it says, I said, is Venus the bright morning star? The answer is yes. Right? Yes, in ancient literature, the planet Venus is often referred as the bright morning star and still is today. As far as I know, <laughs> this is 
universally recognized. While Jupiter and Mars and other planets can appear in the morning or evening sky, Venus does so consistently and as far bright than the others. So, once again, I prove to you, I hope, can't, can't be talking too confident here. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I don't want don't wanna be, you know, just feeling too selfie, but as I'm taking you through this, I'm hoping you understanding how this shift happened. Because the people of that time was so engulfed in that being the control. You have a group of people who dictate to you the interpretation of it. So there's a group of people that could tell you that that's going to cause this and you know, read the Bible when, nah, don't go to war. Is You know, this is a good thing and Saul couldn't sleep and, right? Look at these stories. And you understand what's really being said. Understand it. I'm just revealing you one part. There's, there's, there's a whole lot to this that anybody would and should understand not just that's what i'm giving you the quick research bang 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 i told you this is information that i've been gathering for since i was a little kid <laughs> you know what i mean i'm just rugged you know what i mean so my delivery the gritty it it it, it um and that comes from always arguing with the common man. Like always arguing with the common man made me this. Because really, I would wish I could just give it like, you know, this. Like, no, nah, that's not actual fact. If you do the research, if you do this, you would know. But you have a whole system that really doesn't want this out to that level. They just want enough of the information out for you to switch over to the new system, but it's not the the spirituality, stardust, and is it not still getting you back into that same system? Did they not argue their, the old system to push you over to that system? I'm talking to the, to the woke community, conscious community, whatever. You know, the knowledge itself and all of that. Did they break down everything? And if they broke it down, why are you still perpetrating that? Then that means you're working for that system and you're just misleading the people with um, the hustle, the con, make them feel good. This is the black or this is, you know, anything that you, you find, you know, these things and then you implant it and utilize it for your benefit i mean for those people using that system the biggest lies like oh men don't don't work off emotion if you don't you're gonna be a very lonely person it's, it's you not allowing to work off any other emotion but that one, meaning that I don't have to acknowledge your emotions. All you have to do 
is be emotional enough to acknowledge mine. If that makes sense. Like one of the ill is, you know, like, like narcissistic type of mentalities and shit. You know what I mean? I need you to be emotional enough to give a fuck only about me. And be self-conscious enough and have a complex enough that if you try to have emotions or feelings, I could ridicule you for it. But I need you to have those feelings, but only for me. Meaning that whatever your side is, I don't give a fuck about it. That's your fucking business. Because if you try to show your side, then you weak or whatever. But And if you don't accept my feelings, then you cold-blooded. That's the LS mind game. You know? So, like I said, we over here, we about to take a break anyway in two minutes, but I like to pull that up as I'm talking because here we go. Once again, all of the clues and evidence is right there. And this is all from somebody putting up a meme asking, you know, if all of this is real, where is Jesus' tomb? So the common man, yeah, word up, right? Me, somebody, somebody not indoctrinated into that can do honest research, separate from any emotion attached to it, not attacking it, not attacking the people, just honestly doing research and saying, well, here's your evidence. By asking an indirect question that you thought had no answer, it actually does. There's no way for you to ever see such a large group of people, right, take over something off an idea if it didn't have a root, something that they know that you don't. And so they can sell you this open statement sort of like um communism what is communism oh well you know it's a con it's a thought and yada and and it's a it's a it's a construction that's being put together and it, it, it. so you are being put under something right now you don't even know you're being done so that's why I, that's why me personally, you know, I, you know, I wish I could be Republican. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I, I'm a black Republican. If they let, you know, a, a, a Black Lives Matter, not the organization. Like if, like if, you know, they accepted me saying Black Lives Matter, well, this Black Lives Matter, <laughs> you know what I mean? Without me having to say all lives matter, I don't give a fuck about that. We accept that. I'm telling you, this Black Lives Matter, is that a problem? <laughs> if, if, if that's a problem, I can't be a Republican, you know what I mean? But outside of that, I would move to Texas in 2.2 .2 seconds right now. That's probably 
you know, because that's what, that's what I'm used to. You know what I mean? That's the, um, the understanding of even the white people, America, the whole nine, like, yeah, <laughs> Texas is, is the old order. Texas is the old order. Holding on to all of that. I'd be like, yo, Texas, let me get a, um, let us get, you know, this part. See, I'd fuck with Texas due to the fact that it's on the neck or the border of Mexico. So you let us get it like a little section. Even if we don't, you don't want us to be on the border, you think if we just let Mexico run loose with us, cool. We need about a good, Let's say 40 to 100 um, miles outside of Mexico, we need land there just for the black people. I'm willing y'all cover that little area, but we want enough to where if anything, we got friends, they know they got friends. So just in case motherfuckers try to get crazy, but we know y'all, y'all, how y'all get it up. <laughs> we know. <laughs> we need to make sure that everybody understands, listen, we ain't playing that game. You know what I mean? We ain't necessarily got beef with them, but I understand. You, you want to protect your borders. You know, I respect that too. <laughs> I respect it. I respect I respect both of those concepts. You, <laughs> so for me, it's G. Cover the borders. <laughs> do your shit. You right. A lot of niggas on the border probably wouldn't work, these niggas. These niggas don't know how to do shit correctly. That border wouldn't even exist no more. It'd be a whole new line. Keep the border. Y'all hold, hold the border. Let us just get, you know, like um, like I said, 40 to 100 yard, uh, miles outside of Mexico. Give us some land over there. I'm, 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 I'm a, 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 a black Republican, but not the, say I got to put the black live matter Republican. I can't be one of those Republicans. <laughs> I ain't coded it before to this shit, so. But I'd be a Republican in the sense of certain things, certain laws and principles. I'll respect it. I, I, you know what I mean? I'm one of them dudes, so I'm not against the country. I'm not a communist. <laughs> None of that shit. You know what I mean? So I'd be willing to move to Texas, but they just gotta, they just gotta let the Black Lives Matter Republicans in. <laughs> you let a Black Lives Matter Republican in, I'm fucking there tomorrow. Send the application, say, listen, <laughs> you know, we ain't gonna use the N-word, you know what I'm saying? Well, we gotta have our own area. I'm not really planning to go further out <laughs> than, than my section and hang out in Mexico every once in a while anyway. I'm being G with you. <laughs> you know what I mean? But think about it. Think about it. You know what I mean? I'm, um, I'm putting this on the table. When I'm saying black lives matter, damn right, I'm saying this black life, it matters. And being black, damn right, I know a couple other black people who feel the same way about their lives, and they matter. So we come together and we say, yes, you know, black lives matter, at least ours. <laughs> you know what I mean? But... We come under the same understanding that this is how we want our children raised. This is how we want to move certain, you know what I mean? Don't come in our schools and tell us because we got our own section. <laughs> so you might not like us. The CRT will be toured <laughs> in our section. But don't worry about it. You ain't got to come. <laughs> this is, you ain't got to come. We understand. You know, you want to segregate. We cool. <laughs> You know what I mean? This is just how it was working. If you let those two things in, you let our section teach CRT. <laughs> and, you know, the land part. Everything else, I'm fucking with you. I'm, I'll, be a, I'll be a Republican in 2.2. You know, but back to what I was saying, right? We see this right here, right? 
Y'all keep thinking that I'm playing with you. You keep thinking that. I know the people that are messing with me. They know I'm not playing. They already know. This is real. This is how they pulled the hustle. So when you hear especially black people saying, yo, that's a white religion, they didn't know what they were saying, meaning that they were right, but they didn't know how right they were. They just said, well, you know, Jesus is a white man. Okay, that's true. We got all of these white, the white, all of that is actual fact. Put in that imagery and message into our brain is an actual fact. But they were doing it to themselves based on doing what we would do, pouring out liquor and saying word to such and such. Word to mom, man. Word to word to to, to Johnny. Word to, to to Bones or whatever the fuck. You know what I mean? You know million your names and shit. But word to. But now you in a in a in a large squad. Say Alpo or I don't even, I don't mean to put his name in there, but you know just anybody. You know, um, I had to take that out. <laughs> I think it's somebody. But I'm just thinking of somebody that's name was relevant right now. And you be like, okay, you know, Tupac or or Biggie or you understand what I'm saying? Any any of these people where it become oh, this is the greatest and right? And so then you start chiseling away certain people's imagery, you start attacking it by letting everybody be the next, oh, I'm the next Tupac. You never hear nobody say they 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 the next biggie. But everybody allowed to attack the image of Tupac. That's showing you the impact of one and the necessity by Illuminati, Kaluminati to assassinate his image. Water it down, make it nothing. Then you put out the assassins, talk down on them. Yeah. You know, somebody whose name was supposed to live on, Tupac, the most iconic rap artist. Somebody at my door, hold on. Oh, yeah, but you know the most iconic. You know what I mean? Not the, you know, the argument of the most lyrical or whatever, but the most impactful voice of the people. No limits, no, no, like, shame or embarrassments. Telling you, you know, things that other people would would tuck away. He he just like letting it loose. Nobody else has approached the mic like that. That naked. So while people are looking for the most lyrical, okay. But you wasn't the most roarous. Like when you look in the um the um the Freemasonries when you when you see them in the lodge and they stripped and you know what are they? There's naked. Given the rawest of the 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 purest. Born naked within the womb. Remember, you're in the womb. What do you think the cable toes are? Who's the umbilical cords? You bound to that. And so things are being bestowed upon you and you wouldn't even know it. And then you learn how to perform it. 
if you got a, a skill, a craft, do you know how to draw, do you know how to write, you know what I mean? Are you able to implant this within your craft? Are you an orator, orator, you know, like a speaker? You know what I mean? I'm not. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm um, um, Moses. You know what I mean? I need Aaron, you know, the, the, to, to, to do the speaking. And just telling you how this works. <laughs> if you understood it, you you if you understand what I'm saying, you understand what's being said. You know, through time, through the different um, like I said, chapters, you'll get these these informations more. So I can always reference back, like I told you, I'm mean, like bogging people down with something like you know taking them way over there way over there you know the whole gist gets lost so even though i might be sporadic within this conversation it's all in in context of julius caesar coming out through you know venus you know like the bright morning star we're breaking down you know Basically, the Vatican's dirty little secret, <laughs> which is what? How they turned Julius Caesar into Jesus Christ. How a system, a same system that's being used today is shifting things as always done. It's a system. You know, Shaitan or whatever, the whisper, you know, and controlling the people through that. But you need association. You need the things where you set up a half truth too. <laughs> you know what I mean? So as we go into the spirituality and all of that, if you pay attention, you should know all basic lies of spirituality right now. So it's easy, it should be easy for anybody with common sense, but the thing is, they wiped out all of the men, and so all of the youth were left to get that teaching. And maybe not always on purpose, but the tradition of, like, the minute she got pregnant for all of a sudden, you know, you see these these conflicts and even, you know what I mean? It's like, this was this badge and this is how you were supposed to be. And, you know, then other people, the men get ran off and whatever way, whether it be through jail, whether it be through conflicts, like, it was so, like, many different ways that the men were bumped off. We cattle to lead through a certain chamber to do it because of whatever wants you are trained to go pursue in order for the shift to change, all of the finances and all of that. And so... Then they left with the child on the lap. And whatever that person wants or they believe they want is being implanted in that child, but they don't realize this is how, you know, you're saying like turning the children gay and this is how it happened. You bump off a whole people through a system, like I said, through gangs and all of this. If you don't believe me, check their feet. Understand what they say about standing on your square, Freemasonry, right? And all of these stuff, 10 toes down. But look at, you know, the placings. Look at, you know, I got the whole um, section on um, feet. You know, watching the feet and the gang signs and... Understand that these these were set up 
as the removal, the slaughterhouse. Those were the slaughterhouses. And even inside there, it was the, the war. One indoctrinating through homosexuality, you know, and the other pushing back. Look at African Bambada and these people. If you don't think that these stuff was set up like that, huh? better know what you up against. So you had a, a mindset, you know, when you read certain books, what monster, you know, um, and all that, and you understand what is being said, and then you understand how they set the people up this this war oh word because you it's like imagine a little Nas X right and you saying you don't like these type of people and they standing right next to you learning how to fit in because that's the main purpose to fit in to be able to be around without being noticed now they was already violated or whatever like i said look at the african bambadas and all of these um malachi yorkers look at them look at the the people they had affected right and then you know they're sent out into a world where oh baby i got you but most of the time they were the ones who drop their guards and had these people around them. So while that child has to hide the shame, so does she. Right? So the one who's at blame because the father said, no, nah, I don't have this around the child or don't, oh, I'm, I'm right? You gonna blame it on everybody else. And who's gonna like, you know, unless the child is really keen or something, you know, it's gonna, you know, most likely look at that person, oh they, you know, and then they in the church and all of this and another system that was used and is used to take down the people. Oh, if you don't think that um, the church was hijacked, you know, shit. <laughs> you know, like as we could, and like I said, a system that was set up is the church, right? But those who went to infiltrate the church, you don't think that, you know, that system was implemented. Look at all of the, 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 what do you call them? Um, the pastors and the suing the Vatican because this was a way to take their wealth, a trade of wealth. Go in, attack that system, make the, the same people who's attacking it be the face of what is not, like say, okay, right? The church or the Bible, right, spoke of being against homosexuality, being against, you know, women um, doing and saying certain things, especially pastors, right? So all of this, you knew that the church and the Bible stood on. So when you look now, you'll see gay pastors, you'll see, right? So... <laughs> Now you'll have 
gay pastors, you'll have, you know, women pastors, the type of things that it said don't do. You actually have those as the spokespeople. You understand what I'm saying? So if you got those as the spokespeople, then that meant that they went in there and attacked the system and then made the system pass over the wealth. That's how they stole the wealth. By going into a system that they didn't agree with and then blaming the system for them being the foul people and making the attack. Think about it, right? You have, you, if, if the pastor is having sexual dealings with the, um, the children, boys, right? One, he's a pedophile, so that's showing you the system is pedophilia, right? Then, this is why there's people say that system is this, because of this fact. That, one, it went in and it attacked the children. So that's pedophilia, right? Then, it, it came in the name of something that it didn't, believing so it's saying god right this law that's saying that if you do this you go to this place it's willing to go do that for you to question god right because now the child has been used as the same utensil as the adult who decided this is what it is not only is it gay, but it's a pedophile. So the church that set up that this ominous thing that controls everything failed the individual. So now two things have been completed. To the one coming up, there is no God. He cannot protect him not through the system that you set up of omnuness because now the devil can go to the to the victim and make him one of its soldiers and say yeah you know yeah you know god failed you yada yada and yo you see right here in the bible it says this and yeah clearly this stuff and so all of these people can go in and attack the Bible because in some way the system of God, right, this ominous thing has failed the people. And so the system that that was set up in a in a um, blinding way, the villain gets paid for bringing the truth in the most foulest and wickedest of ways. It's like, I'm going to show and prove God ain't don't exist by doing this to you at such a young age. That's foul. That's like a, I don't know. You understand what I'm saying? Like, like your mindset would have to be like, like, I don't know, I, I, you know, as you analyze the attack on the church based on what became this imaginary thing. So now you got a spirituality system being set up, but it's, a controlled system as well. How do you know? Because now is Egypt and all of that. But remember, those are the same people who went in and violated the children. 
So how could that system be good when the only way to set up that system, you had to do all of that foul shit to the children? You had to kill off the fathers. You had to let these these um these predators around your children and and you know and and not wanting to accept that wrong allows the wrong to keep going. Why do you think even in Precious? That's why I like Precious and shows like that. It didn't allow, you know, the um the villain to hide no you allowed all of this to happen you sat back smoked your cigarettes i'm talking about um monique's character you know what i mean but you sat back and you allowed all of this to happen so while all of these you know the person got to live with the damage and the other person over there becomes this wicked person for which they are. But what about the other half of the wicked tree? The, oh, well, because I personally didn't perform the act. Like, uh, my hands is clean type of approach. No, nah, there's, you know, there's two villains. And until that system is approached, because that's really the system, you know, that right there. If, like, I'm trying to, um, like, if you would have to understand the understanding of Judaism. Judaism is duality. So who would be the controller considering that's the founder of even Christianity. Christianity wouldn't be able to take off if it didn't attach itself to what? Judaism. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? You know, it's somewhere inside there, you know, with the Abrahamic, you know, system, the um the Christians attack the Abrahamic system and or you know, was the Abrahamic system, which is duality, switched over to the light, meaning Jesus, you know, the star, the sun, because we was going into a solar calendar, not a lunar calendar. You know what I mean? Before, you know, the um the Julian calendar, which is a solar calendar, you had a a, a lunar calendar that worked off of, you know, the stars. You know, so changing the system from from darkness to light, changing that system, it was the control also. The way people moved and operated the way all of that was controlled just by even changing a calendar from a lunar to a solar from darkness to light so i'm giving you the jewels think about how people would move based on now saying you would still do your work and all of that in the daytime right but think about how your life is dictated through a lunar calendar versus a solar calendar. Think about how you dictate your day, right? Monday, Tuesday. Think about the month. Think about the naming. Think about all of that. That's all structure within one's brain. Because all of those things are dictated by a system that was set up before you, before it. Is a system, like I said, that switched over from 
a Luna to a Sola. So the switching over from the the children, you know, from from the what is it, uh, patriotic to a matriotic system remove the 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 middle now i did it all i'm your mother your father i'm these are the things that allow the chef look at tv the constant bombardment of you gotta be sorry or you did wrong and or the bumping off of you know what i mean depending on which station or people, you know, you who's watching. But this is the gist. So to the youth, this bombardment is how the shift is happening. It's not one thing. It's not somebody telling you, oh, look, look. It's what is the grand scheme? And not only of that, but does it follow the theme of even what you might hear and argue in the barbershop, those little slick comments within it. The yo, know, these motherfuckers is gay to oh, what a I don't care. That's just more bitches for me. Those little indirect sayings, like yeah, I. Right. <laughs> that's like that's like being around like you know somebody you know committing a robbery and the dude that like say you were like three dudes committing a robbery and the dude with you was saying yo yo chill man he gonna call the cops you damn sure implying that he that that's an option <laughs> you know it's the same it's the same indirect um approach to things pardon me it's hard to explain but that's chicanery. That's why I always go back, you know, to chicanery and shit. But let me go down here some more. We got like seven minutes for the next break. Um, right, because like I said, I you know I might drift off because it's you know you don't want to just keep, you know, hearing information. You do want at some time to, <laughs> you know, absorb it. Shoot the breeze a little and shit, right? As a result of the commentary outburst in late July, Caesar's Comet is one of the only five comets known to have had a negative absolute magnitude for a comet. This refers to the appearance magnitude if the comet had been observed at a distance of 1 AU, right, from both the Earth and the Sun, it may have been the brightest daylight comet in record history. Understand what's, what's being said. They took this as their omen. They running with it. This is our God. Yo, look. We running. He was the one. He accomplished this at this time. This is how we riding out. So when you look at them dollar bills and you see them buildings and you go into D.C. and you understand that. Right? Now you got Haley. Still not brighter than, you know, I mean, it go by many names, but basically the bright morning star. Think about this, man. <laughs> Think about it. So let me see if I can zoom in a little bit better here. I mean, gonna zoom in, but it ain't gonna bring. I'm gonna um make another one where I can um just have it just 
all the way through, but at the same time, still be more closer to where you can see the words. All right. Or I could just transfer it over to my word. That way I can do it that way. Um, in the absence of accurate contemporary observ observation, pardon me, yeah, right? Contemporary observation or later observations confirming an orbit that predicts the early appearance. Circu Wait, um, calculations of the comet's orbit is problematic in the parabolic orbit, right? Let's see inside, right? The parabolic or orbit. This is a list of parabolic and hyperbolic comets in the solar system. Many of these comets may come from the Oort cloud or perhaps even have interstellar origins. The Oort cloud is not gravitationally attacked enough to the sun to form into a fairly thin disk. Like in, you know, so basically, I guess these are like the formations of the comets is controversially assumed in the 1800s as possible match was speculated, which would give it a period of about 557 years. This has not been confirmed because the latest observations are similar and sufficiently accurate. The parabolic orbit solution estimated that the comet would now be more than 800 AUs, 120 billion kilometers, kilometers from the sun. At that distance, the sun provides less light than the full moon provides the earth, right? Provides the earth. Okay. What time is it? I'm about to slide out after this one. But we're going to come back. As you know, I'm going to continue on with this for a brief. Then I'm going to move on to another section to prove, you know, and reveal the Vatican's dirty little secret about Julius Caesar <laughs> being Jesus Christ. You know, a lot of people do not know this stuff. You have a whole system. So, yes, when we say this is a white man's religion, it is. It is. It's a white man's religion. I don't know if you you know you want to put the the gay and all of that on it. I'm not making that accusation. But was it established on this system here? Yes. All of the stuff that you know these these half information dudes tell you to get you to shift. And to this lifestyle, I can't agree with. You understand what I'm saying? So turning it gay and all of that, I'm not doing that. I don't see those evidence. I'm, preven I'm providing this information in the fashion of totality of truth, not half truths. That's why this takes a while to give. Because it's not something that you can just provide in a one, two, three type of a thing. You know? But thank you once again for joining me. Probably go play some chess or something. You know what I mean? But we about to slide up out of here in 10 seconds. <laughs> and as you can see, I'll be hearing free. I got this, this set up. Got a little timer and all of that. Peace, people.